Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Do you remember when we did the Great Botanical Journey to Mangrove Creek Farm and we saw the big ginormous king proteas growing? I also mentioned that the reason I love them so much is because they just are one of those blooms that just keeps on keeping on. They flower for ages and ages and ages. And then what I do is I put them into the garden studio and I walk away and I leave them. And what happens is the inside sort of like falls out and you're left with these. You can hang them up if you want to, but I just leave them until you get to this shape, this look, textural beautifulness now. I just love them and that was quite good that I didn't throw them out. I could have thrown them out, but I thought, no, no, I'll keep these for another day because I did promise. And I got lots of requests with, Esther, could you share how to do a beautiful dried arrangement that can just go from just all through the fall and into the winter? And what are the tips and tricks? Well, I've got lots of tips and tricks. now. Because this is dried and it's lost its prime, it's lost its luster, it's lost its moisture, that tonal value is the cue or the clue as to what kind of a container to use. Get rid of your glass because it's too shiny and, and you, you can, can use tins or um, anything that's earthenware. Now I've got this here, I think it's, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I've had it for years and years and years. It's all very rough and ready, but it's the same tonal value as what the proteas are. Now they're not actually going to be my focal because I've got all these other forms. And the other thing I want to tick off today is, can you put, artificials as it's so far as fake flowers with it. Well, yes, you can, but it's, you've got to just be a little bit careful how you do it. So I'm going to bring in this wildflower or tea tree, as we call it here, Manuka. I'm going to bring that artificial into here. And the reason I'm using the pink is because this has sort of got a pinky, sort of a fawny look to the finish of it. So they're all going to connect in together. The other thing that I found are these beautiful proteas. Um, no, what are these? These are, let me think what these were called, a Banksia. So I've got a couple of Banksias, they're getting shorter and shorter, so we're gonna use those. So my colorway is all gonna be sort of like into, it's all gonna connect back together. Now the first thing, and into here, I've got some chicken mesh because it's easier to keep everything together. Okay, so the first things to go in are going to be, and this is a little bit different than the way that we usually do our designing. They're big, they're a little bit delicate, so put the big in first. So I've got a couple of those, I'm gonna bring that to there. That can go up and over and into there. That can go up and in and over to there. And that one can just go Hopefully, let me just think, I might just put, mm, where will I put that? I'm going to bring that over to that side like that, so that that's just a little flat plane of those over there. Now, with the Banksia, I'm going to bring one Banksia into there, and I'll bring the other one down and into here. And you've got to be a bit careful when you're working with the wire. You might just have to have a little bit of a... Um, play around to get it in there. Okay, so right, my big forms and my delicate forms are in now. The next to go in is a little bit of the plastic. This is a plastic which is going to work in with it. Um, eucalyptus, because it's got the set, it's got those little dark bits onto there and then it comes through to these dusty bits down here. They are all lending and connecting together. Now that can go down into there and because I've done that there, I'm just going to lift that up and I'm going to bring that down and into there. Like as much as I love working with the wire, it is, you do have to just apply yourself to it a different way. Now I've got these little plastic gum nutty things and now I'm going to use those and I can use those because I've got the dark bits here on the eucalyptus and I've got some dark bits when you look down into those brats you can see it's sort of like a little bit woodeny so they will go with it. Now I've got 
this can go over this side and I'm just as I'm doing this I'm stepping everything in so I've got that there and I'm just going to bring that down and into there like so <gasps> So far so good and then I'm going to bring that bit in a little bit higher so that that sits to there. Now I've also got, as I said we're going to use this and I'm going to share how to use this, I'm going to bring that down into there and I'm just sort of kind of like threading and layering as I'm going. That there can go down and into there and by putting it on top of what I've used and layering it up you can't tell that it's actually as artificial as it is and it's just going to give a lovely pleasant, I'm going to bring that bit into there, a nice, oh, hold on, a nice, uh, Hold on, hold on, this is not working. Yes, there, that can go to there. And then with this last one, I'm just going to crisscross that up and into there like so. Yes, that's exactly which way I want it to go. Now, I've got this lovely stick. So see what's happening now, nothing's sort of like doing anything. It's all sort of like, ugh. So to overcome that what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use this branch and I'm going to share how I cut these just bend that over like that score that through like that if you don't have any cutters and then just wiggle it until that comes off right I want to get some movement into there and I don't want to go too high I want this to be quite low so what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to layer that on the top of it now look what happens I've got movement happening in my design. I've got a couple of bits of the honesty. So I'm just going to bring that and put that into there. With this one, I'm going to bring that up and over and into there. And which means that I've got this lovely little hole or void in here to put the last of my materials. Getting back to can you use artificial? You've got to be careful with your tonal values. Now I could put that into there like so, but if you look at that, it's got more, too much life for it and it's too bright. So it's just going to, it just doesn't work into this design. So what we can do is to use some of this. Now I'm just going to cut that, that's too tall. Turning it over, I love it when it does that. So now what I want to do is to have this lovely fluffiness in the center. I could take these out to the side, but it's just going to be too much happening. So if you're ever stuck, just keep these into the center and it's going to look like a lovely little bit of of mistiness in the center and if you've got any dried ro roses or some hydrangeas you could put those in but just remember that everything that you do is just this lovely 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 stepping into the center and just filling in your your little voids with little bits of your this I don't know what this is called but it's very nice that can go oh now if you wanted to bring it out a bit it's just a matter of like laying it through that can go to there that can go into there and with this bit here I'm just going to bring that down and into there now so far so good it just needs something else one moment and I will be back to share what you can put into this that's just going to bring everything together. One moment. Here I am. Now, a little bit of a void. Watch this. This here. These dried lotuses are my absolute all-time favourite. We're just going to bring that down and into there. Cut that off there, bring that down and into there and like a little shelf, like so. And then with this, <gasps> love this, it's dried looking. That can just go into there and there you have a beautiful combination of end of season dry beautiful tonal value it's visually interesting to look at and that will last 
for months and months and months. And the great thing is we used up those beautiful proteas that could have gone to the bin. I love this type of designing. And I'm sure that if Constance Bry was here, she too would enjoy this because she was the one that said you could do whatever you wanted to do. And the difference between a weed and a flower was just an opinion. I love it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you another day. Bye for now.